Okay, so some panels dropped like an hour ago, I would say, and um, it's looking pretty crazy. Apparently, there's also the whole plot got got leaked or whatever. I'm not going to talk about that. I didn't even read it myself. I'm just going to wait until the chapter comes out. But we got some panels released in Japanese from a notorious, apparently notorious leaker. I really don't know him that well. And um, DBZ Chronicles and, and uh, DBZ Hype posted on Twitter about this. And I just got the panels up here um, to go over real quickly. So the first panels that were released were, were, this, were these. Uh, I don't think the order is correct here. So it might be a little backwards, but basically, you know, we see Goku and uh, Gas fighting here. And this was to be expected. We knew that this chapter was called Goku's Conflict, and it looks like we're seeing that. So a train comes out of nowhere. I'm presuming they're fighting in a city or something because of these panels that get released later on, which probably were before this. Or Gas teleported a train from somewhere else. I mean, he does have universal powers. Um, and, and this scene, like, I mean... People point out also, like, how is this hurting Goku? He is a universe buster. But again, as I say, all these reviews and previews, Dragon Ball's never been that consistent when it comes to power scaling. Um, but this this scene also, <laughs> right here, he's trying to punch him. It reminds me of Android 18 versus Vegeta when they're fighting on top of the trucks, except this is a train. Very similar. And, you know, seeing Dragon Ball fights in cities is kind of cool. Or, you know, on top of vehicles, it's it's... Despite them being universe level, or should be universe level at this point, it's interesting to see these kind of fights. So, you know, they're, they're talking here. It hasn't been fully translated yet. I'm just going to wait for um, the chapter come out. I'm not going to wait for the translated leaks that are going to be out in a couple hours. I'm just going to wait for the full chapter. Um, and then we got the scene here. Minaito trying to, to uh, revive or heal, basically, uh, Granola. I should say revive, uh, heal. I don't think he's dead almost dead and um he's having a hard time here because as has been stated before he's not as talented as dende but i do think he's going to be successful but as you can see swen here so might be at the cost of his life as i stated before also we don't really see uh much of vegeta here which is very interesting we see um you know gas he's going for minaito goku jumping in and then teleporting him into this city which is where we where this whole train in the first panel that got leaked could have came from. Um, but yeah, we don't see Vegeta. Now, I heard that Vegeta is mentioned on Twitter in the leaks, but again, I'm not going to read it. I don't want to be... I'm sh You know, I'm not going to get my hopes up. So, you know, I'm not going to be too disappointed if it's something bad. Um, but I assume Vegeta is probably going to be fighting Alec or something like that. I would assume because we don't see Vegeta here we don't see Elec here I would assume but um, time will tell also you know Vegeta is he is he also going to be in the same condition as Goku because Goku seems like he's he's pretty beefed up again he doesn't seem that uh, worn down as he was in the in the, the last chapter and in the earlier uh, panels that were leaked so um, it'll be interesting to see like like I don't know if there's an ass pull or what but like how Goku get this uh, much energy again and is Vegeta in the same condition, or is he not? And uh, if Vegeta is fighting Alec, is Alec going to pull out his his true form, you know, his Bojack form, or is he gonna, or is he have another wish or something up his sleeve? I guess we'll find out. But anyways, yeah, this is it for now. I'm gonna have the review out when the chapter comes out, and don't forget to like; it's greatly appreciated. And peace out.